This is wild edibles in April. This first one is a lady fern. This is where you're actually going to get your fiddlehead ferns from. And the lady fern fiddlehead looks like this. And you, of course, can cook that or not. And the lady ferns kind of have these fronds off of here. And they're the same all the way down the frond. See the same size, basically, of each other. This is a wood fern. And this looks a little bit like the lady fern. And see how it's larger toward the base on the one side. And those also form a fiddlehead. But these are known to be poisonous, even though the natives actually did eat them. This is a bracken fern. And some people call that a fiddlehead. I was told it was a fiddlehead. And the natives ate it, but they were also poisonous. So you, you want to pick the right one. You want to pick the lady fern, which is completely edible. So great to pond pico. And now these ferns, this is your sword fern again. I say. <laughs> The wind will not blow it away. This is a sword fern again. We've talked about that before. You eat the roots and rhizomes. This is a deer fern. Now these don't get anywhere near as big as the sword fern, and they have these fronds on them all the way down to the base, whereas these have a stalk at the bottom. Deer ferns, uh, the natives didn't eat them, but they did use it as a hunger suppressant. So that's why that's there. Because right about now, there's some things out, but it's still a pretty lean time. And on the subject of lean times, this is salal baby leaves. Now this is an evergreen plant, and the mature plant, it, the leaves are very, very shiny and not at all edible. But this is a hunger suppressant for the natives. So that's salal. And this is also an, a pretty early plant that comes out. This is a salmonberry. These are the blooms, and the natives uh, would eat the berries when they came out, but they didn't come out, don't come out until May. Um, but they would take these and use that for salad greens, and they would also strip the, because it does have spines, they would strip off the spines, but this is very pliable, it's new growth. And they would use that uh, to strip off and, and eat that. That's nice and sweet. Same thing. Now, this is a non-native. This is a Himalayan blackberry. And you can do the same thing with that. This is new growth. So you strip off the outer section of the stem here of this new growth where there's some, some spines. And you can eat the center. And this is uh, Siberian miner's lettuce. And this is just coming out pretty well now. It's got a little striped purple flower and it's kind of a succulent. And the natives didn't eat that but it is edible. And last of all, this is silverweed. This has a single yellow flower. The natives ate this in spring and early summer and this is why it's called silverweed. It's got a silver sheen to the bottom. Now this is not a woodland plant. You're going to find this, a lot of it, in, in wet and waste areas. And they dug the roots. And the curly roots close to the surface and it, also the fleshy tap root. They dug that and uh, steamed and, and ate that. And that is native plants in April.